Today I'm going off the grid. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, I'm going fishing to some, in some places that uh, you can't normally get to. I have my aluminum boat here powered by my Mercury. And uh, we're going to go way back in some creeks. We're going to jump some logs and uh, possibly some beaver dam. So uh, we got fun today. Um, you know, we may have to use a winch to pull ourselves in there. We're going to find places that that's untouched, places that, um, you know, that people don't get to fish. Uh, you know, fish don't get to see a lure. So um, that's what I like to do. That's places I like to go. I love fishing out of aluminum boat. Uh, it's an aluminum boat that I built uh, myself, uh, did all the custom work on it, uh, ended up buying a, a four-stroke uh, mercury uh, uh, we're gonna go to a little place that I've been wanting to try to get into and I, I've yet to try to get in there uh, just because I haven't really took the time and I made the, the opportunity to go but today we're gonna go we're gonna, we're gonna do what it takes uh, we got a chainsaw we got everything we need to to get in this place it's gonna be fun we're gonna have uh, fun with it we're gonna, it's gonna be exciting uh, it's gonna be probably some stuff you've never seen before so um, it's amazing where you can take a boat. It's amazing the things you can do with an aluminum boat. Um, some of the stuff you can go on. Come way back in these creeks, you know, one of, one of the baits I really like to throw is um, just a humdinger spinner bait, either quarter ounce, three eighths, chartreuse white. Um, you know, typically this water's kind of dingy sometimes, got a rubber skirt, it's got a lot of action, uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, this humdinger normally gets some good bites, so uh, we're gonna chunk that around. And we're gonna uh, throw a uh, uh, Berkeley Pit Boss. Um, start out with a, a black and blue, just to uh, get going. It's, it's, it's got a lot of action. Yeah. No, another one I like is the Berkeley um, Power Bait Pit Boss. Uh, this is the actual Junior, uh, just small profile. Looks like a crawfish. It takes a crawfish or like a bream. So uh, really good bait to start out with and, and throw. First bass on the hunt there. It's not a big one, but uh, the fish is way back on. They're gonna jump a log, so uh, release this fish and uh, if we can't catch another one. We got another little obstacle here. We got a, we got a little tree we want to jump. You can see right here. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's crank it up and jump it. Definitely spoiled the bass right there on the home dam. You know, way back in these creeks, uh, I mean, it's just a lot of logs. It's got good depth to it. That's one good thing. But uh, I'm throwing this one 15 pound trialing, 8 to 1 Rebo MGX. 
7.3 medium heavy fantasy to rod. Uh, just pitch around, pitch around all those logs, and uh, you can always catch some, some good chops and hopefully get a good one here in the next. That's what we come back here for. That's what we come back to these places for. That's a nice, you know, two and three quarter, three pound pushing chunk. Been feeding up on the shad. These fish are untouched. I mean, as you can see, I mean, we're, and this is pretty much almost a dead end. It looks like it turns. We're like to see, but uh, it's got a little flow as we come up a little bit higher, but uh, back in here. That's fun. That's why I like coming back to these places. You never know what you're going to catch, and hopefully we can, we can keep chunking and get a bigger one. Heck yeah, we've caught a few fish already. We, you know, we've jumped a few logs. It's, it's been a chore getting back to this part, but you can see right here. I mean, this is got some cypress trees, cypress knees. It's real shallow, um, but the ditch looks like it, it gets deeper on through. So we're going to uh, see if we can't push and drag and or winch ourselves through this little spot right here and see if we can make it through. Maybe try to fish on the other side and see if we can catch some big ones. Here we go. We're getting it now, boys and girls. That's it. We're at the end. I had one little bite. Um, I seen some other bass uh, swimming through here, but uh, I didn't get them to bite. So there is fish up here. Uh, we worked pretty hard, but I don't know if I'll come back. I mean, it's not it's not as big as I thought. I thought I could keep going uh, just by looking at Google Earth, but it's really hard to tell until you get here. So, but uh, you know, I can tell the water comes up at times here. It's just not up enough right now to go 
way in there. But uh, this is uh, this is interesting. It takes a lot of work, it takes some time, but it's fun. And you get to catch fish that don't get to, to see lures that much and uh, go places that most people don't go. So um, now it's time to work to get out of here. <laughs>